Okay, now for the motherboard that I'm putting in my ultimate gaming machine. This is a motherboard. In fact, this is a gigabyte motherboard. But you know what? This is the mother of motherboards. Maximus for Extreme Z, ROG, Asus. This is an awesome board. Okay, so it supports Intel 1155 Sandy Core uh, processors. Sandy Bridge. Sandy Bridge, sorry. Sandy Board. I love Sandy Boards. <laughs> okay, chipset. It's it's the Z68. So this is the newer edition. There was a, a Maximus 4 Extreme. Not the Z. Z meaning Z68. It supports SLI and Crossfire X. And it has the Virtu, uh, Virtue GPU, uh, Virtue Green GPU Virtualization. Lucid Virtue. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Back. The back side or open it up. Yeah. Okay, so on the inside flap, you can see in all its glory, but do not touch. And then we have some specs here. So our we've got ROG iDirect. So basically, you can connect by Bluetooth to your iPhone, iPod, and I think they might bring in Android support. I'm not sure. But at this time, I think it's only iOS right now. But Mark, what about Windows Phone 7? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just not talk about that problem, child. RC Bluetooth. So basically, you can overclock from through Bluetooth. Um, RG connects, so you can connect to another computer using the included uh, USB cable and it allows you to do overclocking uh, and take all your all your specs and all your current readouts from that other machine. Uh, you got memory tweaker, extreme uh, NG Digi Plus, so that's your VRM powers. And that Bluetooth chip there, the RG connect button. It comes with 3D Mark Vantage and also Kapersky antivirus. Okay, so on the side, so it's got the name, got some specs and stuff. And on the back, it's much the same as what we saw on the inside panel, just more actually run an uh, actual rundown. So maybe I should just go through this. So it has LG of oh, CPU or talk about that. Lots of stuff I've gone over. Okay, it's dual channel memory, so everything that air is which is standard for Sandy Bridge. Up to four DIMMs and it's up to 32 gigabytes of support on this motherboard. Uh, it has four PCI 2.0 uh, 16, uh, 16x slots. You can either run it in single 16x, dual 8x, or triple 8x. Uh, okay, triple at 8x, 16x, 16x, which seems a little weird, but I guess that's how they do it. And then one times a uh, PCI 2.04x and one times PCO 1x. Okay, multi GPU storage has it has Z68 comes with two SATA six uh, six gigabits per second and four three gigabits per second ports. Um, it supports Intel RAID one five uh, zero one five and ten. We also have a Marvel controller in here, so we have two more SATA six, uh, six per, uh, gigabytes per second, and we also have external SATA three gigabyte per second ports at the back through a J Micron. 362 controller. The LAN is two times, there's two Intel Gigabyte LAN ports. We also got high definition audio through Realtek. There's Bluetooth. There are a whopping eight 3.0 uh, slash 2.0 ports on the back of this motherboard. You, you also have one internal header which is situated at midboard. And there, you, can up, you can do up to nine, ta uh, nine USB 2.0 ports. And they're all at uh, either mid at midboard, and one is the ROG slash 2.0 port at the back. And we also yeah, okay. So let's open. Let's get this open so we can show you where everything is laid out on this board. But to keep you guessing, we have accessories first. So in the box. So first side. Uh, Oh my gosh, this thing just fell fully apart. There we go. Okay, so we've got a three-way SLI bridge. we got a... Is this the Crossfire or SLI? That's the SLI, two-way SLI. Two-way Crossfire. 
And you have some Q connectors, very very handy. You got some some uh, voltage checkpoints. Basically, you plug that into your board, and then you can just use any old multimeter. Some zip ties, I/O shield. You got some three temperature sensors. Some gigantic user user guide with your case badge and drivers, but install the latest from the manufacturer's website. And actually, I think I might, might as, oh, I can't throw it out because of that badge. You got some handy labels, the Bluetooth and ROG manual, and a quick start manual, as well as a gigantic case badge thing, case sticker. I'm totally putting this on. Just, just kidding. That thing is just way flashy. It's flaming. Then on the other side we have two angled slash from angled to straight SATA and two more. One's going to be three. Uh, one's going to be SATA three. One or two and one's going to be SATA three. Then we got oh here's the SATA. Oh they're all angled so they're every single every single one is angled to straight. Keep in mind, you can still use SATA 2 cables on a SATA 3 connector. There is no difference in the cables. And we got some 2.0 back IO, or back piece, back panel. Here's your ROG cable. It's nice and white. It says ROG right on it. And then last, we we have our little Bluetooth module. I think it plugs in onto the board and connects to the back panel. Okay, now for the main attraction. The board comes lovely protected in this plastic and it's upside down apparently to you. Okay, so we have big heat sink covering the power uh, the VRM and then your north bridge, which isn't really a north bridge anymore, and then your south bridge has a nice big heat sink too. Got you. 116, uh, 116x at the top, followed by the 1x, three more 16x, and then oh, a 4x at the bottom. Let's Let's come out. Okay, I ripped it. Whatever. Anti-static sheet or something, maybe. Okay, so you got a little cover over this ROG symbol and light. So let's go clockwise fashion. So from here, you've got your CP uh, processor, of course, and RAM. There you got your post LEDs. First, there's your LN2 mode switch on off. start start button on the board that's nice reset switch as well there's all your voltage checkpoints you also got a go button and 16x lanes switches so if you have a fault day if you're having video problems you can see which card it has having that problems 24 pin right where it should be so these are going to be your Marvell here, then these are going to be all Intel on this side for all your SATA. 6 gigabyte per second and 3 gigabyte per second. Then we have your front panel uh, connectors, dual BIOS, which actually have lights on them to show you which one's currently in use. Then we have some for your CMOS jumpers area, etc. USB 2.0 right here. Got some more. These are, those are fans. There, there. There's your front out audio and SPIDF out. Got one quick um, quick connectors. Right, right here. One. Uh, you basically put a plug in a Molex for extra power if you have lots of video video card power draw on, on your board. And then you also have another one up here. And here's your 3.0 at midboard. Your internal header. Kind of weird. I guess you have to route your cable up here. And you got 7.1 audio. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three point oh ports. There's your ROG Connect port slash. You can also use it as just a normal USB. You've got two gigabyte internet, uh, Ethernet, uh, one gigabit per second. There's your ROG Connect button. There's your clear CMOS button, and there's your uh, optical audio. Optical audio out. Now the Bluetooth. I'm, I might as well put on the Bluetooth board right now, just to give you guys an idea of where it goes. And. Uh, so it comes in a nice little anti-static bag which says caution sensitive electronic devices do not ship or, or store near strong electrostatic electromagnetic or radioactive fields and I just ripped it Mark are there any radioactive fields in this house we should be worried about? no I don't have a nuclear fusion reactor I don't I don't okay so basically it is one, two, three. it is 11 pins and it just basically sticks right in here up right right in here right over the ROG connect button and then you got this little Bluetooth button as well as oh a, a Bluetooth light it's kind of handy and then you also got your combo PS2 keyboard slash mouse okay so you have your process uh, processor power you can either do the four pin or take the little plug out and then it's eight pin which I will definitely be using. Ow. Pointing on the back. Okay, so for fan headers, we got, they're all four pin. We got one, two here. Three, four there. Five, six here. Seven, eight. So eight fan headers. Okay, so this has been I guess that, oh wait, and this does have a light, so you have a little light, light wire to the ROG switch. And this has been my unboxing of the Asus Maximus 4 Extreme Z motherboard. Mark, out. Is there anything else you wanted to see unboxed? This? This? Or maybe any of these? <laughs>